Broad-scale tree clearing will be curtailed with controversial laws passed in state parliament. The move has dismayed thousands of regional Queenslanders who say the new measures go too far. The conservation spotlight is now moving to the southeast corner with a report highlighting the failure to protect koala populations. In Queensland's beef capital, they're preparing for an influx of crowds to celebrate Beef Week. It starts just after the state government passed legislation that many people here tried to fight. There's a great deal of disappointment, obviously. Um, I think there's a great deal of hurt. The Premier says she will attend, even if the crowds aren't impressed. There won't be too many people that are wanting to um, smile and wave with the Premier, but... Uh, like I said, this show is far bigger than just Anastasia Palaszczuk. Rural landowners say the laws will devalue their properties. For us, 10% of our developed farmland is, um, is, has now been locked up. The new measures made it through Parliament late last night. They even set aside family-friendly hours to get it done. Is this what we're doing with the family-friendly hours, Mr Speaker? It doesn't make uh, sense. This member, government is a rabble. Member for Kiwana. It is a rabble. Member for Kiwana. Plans to add amendments were bulldozed. These are common sense amendments in an attempt to try to make this legislation a little bit easier. The opposition wanted land clearing applications processed within tight deadlines and didn't like the idea of inspectors being able to access properties whenever they want. Most bulldozing of habitat that happens is out uh, in remote areas, mostly for, for beef cattle pasture. The state government's been keeping a low profile, celebrating quietly with friends. More than 400,000 hectares have been cleared in Queensland in the last year. That is unsustainable. While much of the focus has been on regional areas, tree clearing in the southeast is now in the spotlight, with the new report suggesting more should be done to protect koala populations in built-up areas. The report's been two years in the making. It suggests curbing development in the southeast and better mapping of colonies. This is urgent. It is urgent. But establishing a specialised koala advisory council could take months. Josh Bavis, ABC News.